So I thought my days of unloading uh, concrete pieces from Henry Studio were long behind me. Uh, Steph and I worked at a garden center uh, way back when, uh, over uh, 30 years ago, something like that. And uh, the garden center would order things from Henry Studio, lots of concrete pieces. And uh, it would take hours and hours of unloading <laughs> concrete rabbits and concrete turtles. We'd only get one order a year. And now here I am uh, with a Henry Studio piece uh, that I'm about to unbox in the garden here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. Uh, I put up a mystery photo on Instagram a week or so ago and uh, had people guess what was in this box. And now we're about to uh, find out. So uh, let's get started on it. Uh. Oh my gosh, and they always come with the coffee bags. <laughs> Which, uh, this is how they were stacked in the truck, was un un under these bags. Okay, so pretty quickly, uh, we're gonna know that this is a fountain, and here's all the, uh, the parts and pieces for it, the pump and the, uh, and the pipe and all of, those, all of those things that we need for this. And again, they use all this all these old coffee beans and then whatever this material is this is compostable we'll definitely use this in the garden all right Okay, here's where the three bubblers come from. And it looks like the rest is actually one piece laid over on its side. It is a, this thing's gonna be a bear to get to the backyard. Yep, it is in fact one piece that's left. So it's got a reservoir down at the bottom and then that piece uh, pops into there. But we'll go ahead and let me see if I can stand it up real quick. Okay. Actually came with coffee beans this time. So there it is, fully exposed. Uh, where this is gonna sit in the uh, back garden, uh, most of the bottom of it will be covered up. The annual, annuals and perennial border will be directly in front of it. And so this should give us some noise in the uh, back garden. These three bubblers uh, come up right here and then the water just falls back into the uh, reservoir uh, underneath. So I'm excited to get this installed. It is a muggy August afternoon uh, where, when I'm setting this up. So I have, this is my second shirt and really I probably should have changed this one before I, I started filming again as well. So uh, a little bit of sweat, uh, no tears, was actually pretty easy to uh, set up. It has three lights uh, in the, uh, where the three bubblers are. And uh, it's just a matter of getting it in place, leveling it. I put three bricks under it and I went ahead and put my level uh, on top of those three bricks. And so I knew the space was already level before I started and then uh, set the main uh, base in place. And then it has uh, two, two plugs, uh, one for the electric, for the three lights uh, that are in it, and uh, one for the uh, water pump itself. And then the water pump gets uh, distributed to these three bubblers. This one's coming up slightly higher, and it's got a little 
a little piece underneath that allows me to pinch this one closed a little bit. So that's what I'll do after I finish filming. And that will increase the water flow into these two a bit and uh, level that out. But the water just comes up out of the three bubblers, rolls over the side back into the reservoir and gets pumped back up uh, over and over and over again. But it's pretty straightforward. There were a lot of little pieces, but none of them, I mean, it was, it was super easy to, to set up. I ran into uh, Henry's studio, uh, I guess, uh, let, let me see, last, last year in Delaware uh, at a trade show. And then we were gonna talk about uh, getting a fountain at uh, a show in Baltimore in January and uh, they couldn't make the show. And then I ran into them again at Cultivate. I mean, we keep running into them occasionally and we, we keep talking about, um, I, I wanted a fountain of theirs for the uh, landscape because again, uh, I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of my time and history in this company or in my, in my life has been with uh, uh, things from Henry Studio. And uh, so I really, I really like this fountain. I think it fits in perfectly with the uh, annuals and perennials that are in front of it. And uh, yeah, I've got it just kind of blocking the bottom of it. It's making a bit of noise and which is perfect uh, for this area back here. The water's gonna keep moving so it's not an issue with, uh, with mosquitoes. Uh, I got a palm behind it that's about to go in the uh, ground somewhere so it's gonna find a new home. And then I'll probably find something, uh, some sort of backdrop, larger piece uh, for the backdrop to this uh, at some point here. I've got a couple agapanthus that are literally right behind it that need to be relocated. But I think overall uh, the piece fits in perfect uh, into the uh, garden here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, thanks to Henry Studio and thank you guys for watching.